Good morning. It's John Vance. I'm stuck on the roof here at Perry and Nissan at 9151 West Bell Road. And we've got great cause partners up here all year long uh, so far. I shouldn't say all year long. Last, uh, gosh, what's it been? Eight days now. I think today's day eight. And uh, back with me are uh, really good friends that were with us last year. Dr. Janet Foote from uh, Arizona Cancer Centers and Gil McCartney. Gil, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Dr. Foote. Thank you for nice coming. To be here. Yeah, no, it was great last year. We had a lot of fun, the three of us. We did. And I think we uh, spread a lot of information to people, certainly things that I didn't know, and I'm certain to a lot of people that were out there as well. In this one piece, I want to give people an idea um, uh, who is Arizona Cancer Center? What are some of the local programs uh, and services that you offer uh, to the community? We actually are uh, part of the University of Arizona. We're at National Cancer Institute. Comprehensive Cancer Center. There's only 40 of those in the U.S. We're the only one that is fully contained within the state of Arizona. Um, our role is really to serve the entire Southwest, and our designated status actually means we have expertise in patient care, clinical and basic research, prevention, cancer prevention, and then outreach and education. Wow, so and it's a so special combination. And you do that with schools and other organizations, I mean, yes. from the educational standpoint? We go out in the community. We also support, like there's legislation in Arizona that sun safety has to be um, part of the curriculum in kindergarten through eighth grade in public schools. And we support that by training people in sunwise teaching and going out. We're teaching ASU students coming up that are going to be our next generation of teachers. That's awesome. It really is. I mean, and you think about the state of Arizona, obviously many of us uh, live here in the state of Arizona and you know today's going to be up here on the roof, right? <laughs> about 117 degrees, it really will, because the ground temperature is supposed to be 102, 103, so it'll make it about 117 up here today. And I know you two were giving me a bad time last year about making sure I was protected, right? And we had a lot of heat last year. And you know, kind of going down that path, I guess, um, how does Arizona rank? Well, we're number two in the world right behind um, Australia as far as skin cancer. Occurrence. Right. And part of that, um, what's special about Arizona, what makes us different than someplace like Florida, is our altitude. You get about a 5% increase in the intensity of the sunlight for every thousand feet of altitude. And right here in Phoenix, we're about 1,350 feet on average. Someplace like Tucson is actually 2,500 feet. When wow. you go up on the rim and up to Flagstaff, you're talking seven Eight, to yeah. 9,000 feet, and that's why you really have that intense sun here. I remember you brought the UV meter last year. I do remember that very much, right? In fact, it took me a little bit to get it back to you. It was down <laughs> in my office, but it was really interesting watching throughout the course of the day what the UV meter did up here on the roof, right? And I kept taking pictures of it so people could see what it was like live, and that was a great educational piece, certainly for me, and I think a lot of other people. And you know, now all of a sudden we're kind of making a little bit of a transition, and we're going to do it in our next piece as well, talking about uh, you know young children, right, and exposing them uh, to some of the safety tips and right some of the, the lifestyle uh, changes that they need to make, right? We can't start them too early. Correct. Um, what, are we seeing any kind of increase in skin cancer in young people? Um, we are. All types of skin cancer, actually non-melanoma skin cancers in the 20 to 29 and under 20 age group has more than doubled in the period from 1992 to 2006. Um, we're seeing increases in melanoma among young women, and melanoma is the most deadly type of skin cancer. About 12,000 people die per year of melanoma, and 75% of that is due to uh, 12,000 die from skin cancer every year. 75% of that is due to melanoma. In women, we're actually young women, we're actually seeing increase in trumpel. Usually, it's been on the legs. Um, as far as their melanoma risk, but we're seeing more on the body part, and we believe that's due to more exposure. Sure. And it's not just outside exposure, but actually, unfortunately, tanning booths and things that you wouldn't think we would need in Arizona. Right. Um, it gives a very intense UV dose, and that's problematic for skin cancer. Risk. And our goal certainly here today, right, is for prevention, yes. education and prevention, right? Right. So we can tell people, obviously, how to lower some of those numbers. And you and I were talking uh, before we filmed, I mean, the great impact that it's going to have in the future of health care, right? Billions of dollars worth of treatment, and you do need to treat it. Even, even the types that 
are not typically deadly if you leave them long enough. Um, they, some of them can become deadly and they actually keep growing very large and they're occurring in places that are your face, your nose, your ears, things that get lots of sun exposure. So you want a good outcome. You want a, a good treatment. Um, how is uh, Arizona Cancer Centers funded? I want to talk about that briefly before we go to the, uh, you know, to the uh, our next spot. Well, mostly uh, grant funding from national or private organizations, and also foundations, things like that, and private giving. We have a sun safety. Um, well, it's actually a cancer prevention. It has diet, um, physical activity, and sun safety that goes out to the young children in schools here. And that's funded almost entirely through donations. Wow. So we have a lot of programs that um, are really important out there, but it's been tough as far as funding goes. You know, uh, I was sharing that with you, and I've, I've shared it all week this week, right? I mean, during the course of the last couple of weeks, or pardon me, the last couple of years, Giving has gone down by about 50 percent. They claim they claim that's the statistic. Yet, need in many of the different causes we've had up here on the roof, and it was so interesting to learn that a uh, that a lot of the organizations work together. I know you do as well, Gil. And I mean, it's really neat to actually see that, you know. But and it's not just corporate giving or it's personal giving, right? This decrease during you know this you know recessionary time period the last couple of years, and here we come out of it, right? We're starting to come out anyway. Many would claim, right? And getting people back engaged in some of those practices of giving, whether it's, you know, time or, or uh, certainly monetary, you know, uh, ability, so. Yes, it's very important, and just getting involved with the community as far as making sure there's shade overhangs at the schools, making sure that they have tents they can put up on the fields, um, a lot of the playground equipment is very exposed, and you know, it's been great to see some of the bus stations actually finally get covered. Sure. Because who wants to sit on a bench that's, you know, 120 degrees, but unfortunately here it took a very long time for that to happen to have any shade coverage. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun in our next segment. We're going to be back at you in a few minutes. We're going to show you a lot of the props that Arizona Cancer Center uses for education and prevention purposes. We're going to talk a lot about uh, young children, right, Gail, and, and getting them involved early. Um, and some of those best practices, if you will, right? Absolutely. And they're caregivers. Parents have a really important role in this, too. Absolutely. We'll talk about the parents' role, too, right, in educating their kids and, and making sure that uh, they do the right thing. So we'll be right back with you here in uh, just a few moments.